This weekend, Blue Mountain Resort in Pennsylvania will play host to the Skylands Classic National Tour Disc Golf event. We asked the number one player in the world what it's like playing disc golf on a ski mountain. Well, first off, if you haven't done it, try it. It's the funnest thing out there. You're throwing downhill, you get to ride a ski lift up. It's a great view. Um, but it is slightly different because throwing up and down hills really affects the disc flight. And personally, I don't even throw the same disc. I bring a different set of discs for the mountains because they tend to get more beat up coming down the hill faster and they don't flip as well. So you tend to throw less stable discs and stuff you don't care about as much. But the fun of it, I mean, the disc flies for 20, 30 seconds in the air. Everybody has the same opportunity to reach it downhill. I mean, Melody can reach 1,000-foot holes. You know, it's really exciting to, uh, to play on these. And I believe that being that these are only open in the winter and they're used for mountain biking and they have the lifts open anyway, I think it could be the future of a big professional tour to be just on ski resorts. Well, I'm sure that would suit Woodchuck Cider from Vermont just fine. They're our national tour sponsor. So let's take a look as we head down the home stretch to what our 2010 national tour point standings looks like. Preparations for this national tour event have been wonderful. Uh, we love working with disc golfers. As I said earlier, everything just goes so smoothly because everybody is so low maintenance and just excited to be here. How can people find out about this event? Uh, they can go to our website, which is www.skibluemt, or you can go to njdiscgolf.com, and the information is in both places. And what if some fans want to come out? Is it going to cost anything? How do they get here? Tell us about it. Oh, we would love if fans come out. We welcome everyone to Blue Mountain. Come see the best male and female disc golf players here at Blue Mountain this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So the easiest way to get directions is, again, to head to our website. We have a directions tab, so you can click that. It'll map quest it for you, and make sure you come on out. The Disc Golf Complex at Blue Mountain has been open since Memorial Day, and players from throughout the region of Pennsylvania have been enjoying this great facility. It features a valley course at the bottom and the skyline course at the top. For this event, Dan Doyle has decided to create a hybrid configuration featuring the best from the bottom and the best from the top. Being in the steel industry, Dan has great taste in metal and he has created some outstanding trophies for the event. We caught up with the Skylands Classic Tournament Director, Dan Doyle, and asked how preparations for the event were going. Super, super. The course is in amazing shape, so uh, I think the players are in for a real treat. Now, originally this event was scheduled for uh, Warwick, which everybody loves that course. Tell us a little bit about the decision-making process that went into play to move it to Blue Mountain. Um, we we set the bar really really high uh, in all the events we've had at Warwick, and I think it just uh, seemed as we started doing our organizing this year that uh, I was concerned that we weren't going to reach that bar again. And uh, I think with the economy, it was a little tough trying to get some of the big sponsors that we were getting in the past. And at the same time, Blue Mountain started to come together in terms of their their staff and the quality of the courses, and it just. It was kind of a, a almost a, a, a spontaneous decision to move it, and for a lot of other reasons. And um, I'm real excited, and I think the players will find out it was a good move too. Tell me a little bit about what Blue Mountains done to prepare for this course, uh, for this event. Well, I mean, typically what I'm used to for for the Skylands events is it's all volunteers, and we're doing everything. And uh, for this event. They've got full-time staff that's doing course maintenance. They've got full-time staff to do all the publicity and the public relations. They've got a food and beverage manager. Um, so they've got full-time paid people to do all the things that the volunteers are normally doing. And, uh, and they do it the right way. Can you tell me about the importance of the national tour for disc golf as a whole? Well, I think it's, it, 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 the, obviously the purpose is to showcase uh, our sport. and. Um, I, I think it's a real opportunity to reach out to the media in a way that we maybe can't for the smaller events, uh, to be able to get radio spots and um, uh, all sorts of newspaper articles. I think it's a great way um, to get the word out in a, in a fairly wide area that we probably aren't doing for the smaller events and to be able to tell the, 
the local community that we've got 10 or 15 of the top 20 players in the world, male and female, uh, is obviously something we can't do with any other event. Tell me about who some of those players are. Uh, well, we've got Dave Feldberg, we've got Nico, we've got Nate Doss, uh, Steve Brinster, Avery Jenkins, uh, Val Jenkins, Des Redding, uh, and probably three or four others that I'm probably leaving out. So uh, I apologize to the top ten players that I didn't mention. But truly a world-class field. Oh, for sure. Great. Dan Doyle, we wish you luck this week at the Skylands Classic at Blue Mountain. Good luck. Thank you. As Dan said, the Skylands Classic will feature many of the women's top disc golfers in the world this weekend. Here's a look at the national tour standings for the women's division. Don't forget to follow all the action this weekend. It's the Skylands Classic at Blue Mountain on PDGA.com.